Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now, I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this Photoshop photo retouch picture we're going to be repeating a picture of a girl here in front of a picture of a sunset and then doing a little bit of blending work to help blend the two pictures together. So I'll be starting with two images. I have the background sunset here and then the picture of the girl over here. So let's go ahead and work our way through this. First, we want to take this picture and put it onto that picture. Just drag that over. There we go. We can then position this exactly where we want this. I'm going to put a little bit of transparency on this about halfway through just so I can get it positioned right so I have the the sun is kind of in behind the edge of her hair right there. So that's pretty good. We now need to make a, a simple mat around her hair. Let's now zoom in a little bit down here and grab the polygonal lasso tool. I'm just going to make just a simple selection around this. I'm not going to take any real great amount of time on this for this demo. I'm more concerned in showing you the technique than making a perfect image. So we'll just go ahead and go through this quickly. Notice as you scroll up or get up to the top of the screen here where the ruler is, the screen automatically scrolls. Now up in here it's a little hard to see where her hair is. I'm going to just kind of eyeball this and then we'll adjust this on the mask so that it looks natural once we get this first bit done. And just work my way around. Again eyeballing where the hair should be where it's too dark to actually tell. Okay, we can now finish this off pretty easily here. Again, letting the window scroll once I get past that outside edge there. And I'll just go right across the shoulder down here and just ignore that one little bit of hair. We'll take it outside. You can cont continue to make the selection as you can see outside here. You don't have to be worrying about being right on the actual image. That allows you to do your start and stop point outside where it's really easy to see. Okay, so there's our basic selection. We'll fix this little bit in just a moment. Now that we have this, go come down here and click on this little icon there. That's the new layer. It gives us a new layer mask. And there's our new layer mask. Now we have black hides and white shows. So I can come in here with a paintbrush tool and we're on the mask as you can see there's our white outline and let's just set this to hard we'll adjust that softness in just a second and now I can just come in and paint a little bit into the mask and just kind of hand paint that edge until I get that a little more the shape I want. That looks pretty good. Now it's a hard edge you can see here. And I prefer having a little bit of a soft edge on that. So I'm going to do a little trick that I like to use and that's to blur the mask out a little bit. We'll do it just a real small blur just to soften up that edge. So go up here to filter. Make sure that you're on the mask in a white outline. Go to blur, Gaussian blur, and in here you can set the Gaussian blur and actually blur the mask and as I go further I can really blur the mask out a lot. You want just a little bit of blur just enough so that it kind of softens up the edge 
of that picture. This one looks like a 2 is pretty good on that metal 1.8. So I'll do a, a 2 radius. And a slight softness helps to blend that into the background picture. It just helps make it look a little more natural. Most things in life, when you photograph them all, have a bit of a softness on the edge. Very rarely you have a real hard edge on anything in, in nature. Okay, looks pretty good. Now I can move back over to the picture, use my keyboard. I'm just going to move her over a little bit. A little bit of composition now, just I can see where everything is, is sitting. Well, just a little overlap on that sun, not too much. Again, that's just a, a compositional choice. All right, there's our basic image set up. Set this back to fit on screen. Now we can begin working on the special effects part of this. So I want to make a new layer here. First, I want to darken down and increase the values in here in the image. And we can do that just by multiplying this image. I'm going to make a copy of this, grab the layer, bring it down to the new layer button, make a copy like that. Let's multiply this with the copy below using our blending modes. So let's scroll down and we're going to be using multiply right there. And that just darkens that layer down with the colors from, you know, the same colors, it's just multiplying the colors together. In this case, the colors work out very well to help to blend that in with our background. Now, I also want to darken it down over here on the right hand side a little bit. So let's come down to this layer. I'll put a new layer in here. And I want to take this mask and copy the mask to this new layer. Click on the mask itself, hold the Alt key down, and just drag up, and that copies that mask up. So I now have a mask, copied mask on this layer. I'm now going to do just a little bit of black over here. There's our black tool. There's our paintbrush. I want a real large brush size for this. Like that. And let me bring the flow and opacity down a bit. And I'm just going to come in here and just do a little bit of this on this edge. Actually, it's a hard edge. I don't want to have that hard edge on there. So let me just undo this brush. I'll use a Control alt z keyboard and just get rid of those. Okay, step forward one step. There we go. And let me make sure I have that on a soft brush as opposed to a hard brush. There's a hardness. So that's much too big. Let's do 150. Hardness of zero. That should be good. Again, up here, make sure I'm on the layer and not the mask. That's more what I want. I just want just a bit of darkening in here. And now I can use my opacity to bring that down a bit. And use it just to darken down that right side. It's a little, just a little bit. It was just a bit too, too bright for my taste. A little bit down there. So there we go. That takes care of that step. Before I go anywhere further, I'm going to make sure that I have these set back to 100% on those. Okay, so we have our image now. In here, our values are looking good. We now want to bring in some of our color spill in here. So we're going to be doing that with a new layer above this. Let's make a new layer. There we go. Again, I want to take my layer mask, hold the Alt key down, pull that up. That gives me a copy of that. And then I want to have some of the yellow colors from in here. So let's grab our eyedropper. I'm just going to grab some of the bright yellows. I'm on the wrong layer. Make sure you're on the right position. There we go. So on my layer, on the image side of that layer. Yeah, that's better. I'm just grabbing some of the yellow right there. This thing that pops up, this is in Photoshop CS6 and newer. You get that little thing showing you what it is you're actually choosing. If you use an earlier version of Photoshop, you won't see that a little bit. So that just gives me some of that yellow color. Got my paintbrush. And I'll bring the brush side down a little bit. And I'm just going to paint in here just a little bit along that edge right where that sun is. So I just got kind of the, a yellow 
bit here on top of my image based upon that. So again, it's staying inside of my layer mask as you can see here. Now, let's take this and blend this into our picture. So we'll do that up here, blending modes, and let's come down here to soft light. That just blends the, the light colors and just get a little bit right in here, just in some of those areas. You can increase the effect on that by simply copying this same layer. There we go. It just increases that amount in there. If that's too much, if you're not really happy with that, you can come in and adjust your opacity on that top layer to adjust the amount of spill. You also can choose different blending modes in here. As you can see, different blending modes will have different effects and different amounts of color spill happening, but we're using the soft light in this particular case. So there we go. That is taking a picture, blending a picture into a background using my little trick of softening up the layer mask to soften up that edge, which is a real help. And then doing, you know, again, copying your layer mask to different layers and copying some colors and blending them on top of the image to help blend your colors together, giving you the effect that this person actually is in that picture. Okay, there you go. That is how to blend a person and a little bit of a light spill as well. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.